Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and welcome to the Cheapy build. It's only $600, and, um, yeah, so this is just for basic gaming, I'd say. Actually, not basic, uh, it's actually pretty good. I, well, sort of basic, yeah. Well, it has room for a lot of upgradability, but, uh, for now, it's basic. Because it's only $600, which is the exact price of one graphics card if you're thinking high-end. So anyways... An i5-6600K is all you're gonna need for gaming, I'd say. Never, nothing higher than that is required. 3.5 gigahertz on the, s I'd say, standard clock, and uh, 3.9 in the turbo. It's quad core, no hyper threading. It's um, pretty good, I'd say. I don't know why I threw this in. I'd say you should keep with the stock cooler, but I'm not really sure. I don't think this comes with the stock cooler, and I think that's why I threw this in. Yeah. Uh, MSI H110M. I threw this in because it has enough ports, I'd say. Corsair 8GB 1x8 kit of DDR4 2133MHz memory for only $40. That leaves some room for upgradability of 16GB if you ever need it. 1TB HDD is all we need right now because you're trying to keep it cheap. You can always upgrade to an SSD later. I chose the Zotac GTX 1050 because it's a good card, I believe. I, not I believe, I know it's a good card for uh, entry level. I don't know why I chose this case, I guess it's because it's blue and black, which is what I like. Then a 400 watt ATX non-modular power supply. It could be non-modular, it could be semi-modular, yeah, you'll have to check that. Anyways, so that's the cheapy build, hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys can post your opinions down below and tell me whatever you want. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.